as you can see there is the HP laptop nothing wrong except the screen I don't know if there is any charge or not let's check so that's the actual screen somehow it's broken okay it's like a kind of flower there is a Colombian flower like that anyway we must need to replace it there are two ways you know honestly there is only one way okay some bezel I mean this frame front frame is called bezel comes with two hooks at the front like plastic cover which one covered the hinges but this one is flat but, and as you can see this kind of reddish color what does it call I don't know anyway so this one this buckle and the black part these are separate but if you try to pull it out from the front it's going to be very difficult and make some damage in here so the actual proper way to replace the screen what you need to do you must need to separate the screen panel from the actual board opening from the back cover and then you need to open it up and then this is a quite long way but this is the safest way uh, it takes time but much more easier so let's start so first of all we're going to open it up and before we do that let's talk about the model number which one i did not mention in the video earlier okay so model number is 15 dash a db 0599 sa let me okay 599 sa all right that's the one 15.6 inch so let's start opening it Philips screwdriver let's opening up what about you see We're gonna disconnect this flux first, which is the display one, and that's the only one first. Very gently push this out. One, take out this. Uh, wireless card container cable you can do two things either you can take out the card you, know? and you don't have to disconnect it which is much better to keep the connection fit and tidy and now we must need to disconnect the hinges which is that one keep it on the side now this one it seems it doesn't slide right or left I tried already so I think probably if you make a little gap in here let's 
good. Also in right here. Let's check it out by lifting this bezel first. Yep, this one came out. You must need to take this out before we open it. There are some glue adhesive. Oh, you must need to use a kind of flat plastic card to separate the glue from the screen or from the bezel, whatever you like. The screen is broken, so I'm trying to save my bezel rather than screen. What was the password, brother? All right. So this is the actual bezel. You can see how strong adhesive there was. Okay. So now, this screen has four screws. Top and bottom. You put that one. Okay, so the screen. You need to take out this kind of tool. Okay, so that's the actual 30 pin 15.6 inch flat screen. So now hold it like that because this is much more easier and safer to close it okay and two to four screws in both sides one this side the flat one right. okay okay it seems the screw goes in here not there 
because I can see there is a cross mark, X mark it says you can put the screw right here later on from the outside. Okay, so connect it. This is the display connector. Yeah, it's connected properly. Now this is the Wi-Fi antenna. I left it closed because you know if you take it out and if you push it in wrong way you're gonna break the connector so you're not gonna get any signal, you know. Okay, there is some confusion. As you can see, the actual metal card is uh, smaller than the connector. So how you can figure out? Should be like that way or this way? Let me give you a little clue. Can you see the screw hole here? It's gonna match here, yeah? so you're gonna know how to put it inside. As you can see, the screw hole already did match with that. Okay, better. So close it. Hopefully that one. Good. It's done. There is the cable. <coughs> Make sure the screw is tightened enough because if you don't do it, then in the future the hinges will break into pieces. Good. Hopefully they are with. The screen comes on. Right, the screen looks absolutely fine. There is no dead pixel or anything. I left the film because in that way it keeps uh, the protection on it. Okay, so don't try to pull out this front bezel without opening the way I show because there are some models it's possible to take the front panel out and then uh, open the four screws and then put the new screen in but this model is completely different so follow this procedure if you still have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section I'll try my best to reply as soon as possible and thank you so much for watching guys I hope I will see you in the next video bye bye